Welcome back, everybody. Um, we're going on to a, so our third form. We learned about uh, slope-intercept. We learned about standard form. And this is the third form. It's called point-slope form. And guess what? You have to find a point, and you have to find a slope, and that's it. So how would you graph a line if you knew a point that it went through and its slope? Well, what would you do? You would make the point plot the point, and then use the slope to finish the line. Let's do that right now. Graph the line whose slope is 2 thirds, but it passes through 2, negative 1. So we go 2, negative 1, we make a point right here. Then next, I apply the slope up to right 3. So I'll go up to right 3, and I'll end up right here. Now, if you ever run out of room while graphing, Realize that 2 over 3 is the same as negative 2 over negative 3. So instead of going up 2, right 3, we can go down 2, 1, 2, left 3, 1, 2, 3, and put a dot right there. And you'll notice it is still in the line. So there's our line. This is the equation that we use for point-slope form. The equation is y minus y1. Now, you're going to say, what's y1? Well, y1 is the point you're given, or the point you're going to use. <clears throat> and x1 is also part of that point. So, y minus y1 equals m, which is your slope, parentheses, x minus x1. The only tricky part about this equation are these two things. Yes, the minus signs. So you have to be careful, okay? So let me give you an example. Given this equation, so we have y minus 4 equals 2 times parentheses x minus 3. It says identify the point that, passes, that the line passes through and the slope. Well, the slope is right here. So what's the slope? The slope is 2. Okay, that's easy. It's these right here. So... We just have to be careful that we mind our negative. So it says y minus y1 and x minus x1. So what I do is I look. All right, if it's a minus sign, this number is my x1. And it's positive because a minus sign is part of the equation. So my point is 3, 4. Notice they're not negative. But Mr. DeMars, they're negative here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Those minus signs are part of the equation, okay? Those minus signs are part of the equation. They're not part of the points. So my x is 3 and my y is 4. I really want to show you, um, I want to show you what happens if we see a plus sign in these equations. All right, remember the equation does have a minus sign in it. So if you see a plus sign, you kind of have to do keep change change backwards. So watch what I do here. y minus negative 2 is the same as y plus 2 because keep, keep, change, change. This would, this would become this. So you need to keep that in mind. The 3 stays the same, but x minus negative 5. So if I'm doing this is my second example, my point, or my slope, well, my slope is going to be 3, so that's not a big deal. My slope is 3. That's no problem. But my point, my point is not 5, 2. So be very careful. It's not 5, 2. It's negative 5, negative 2. Because of the formula and keep change change, okay? The formula is y minus y, x minus x. So if, we, if you see a plus sign, you kind of have to make it minus a negative, or you need to think, oh, that's a plus 5, so it's really negative 5 for the point, okay? So be careful with that. So we learned how to identify the slope and the points. Next, we're going to use that to graph the line. So this is kind of easy. Identify the point that passes that the line passes through. So here's my x, here's my y. So my point is 
2 comma 5. My slope is 1 half. And basically, it's plot the point and apply the slope. So we plot this point over 2, up 5. So over 2, up 5. So there's my 2, 5. And now I apply my slope. Up 1, over 2. So I will do that. Up 1, over 2. Up 1, over 2. And here is my line. Put arrows on the end. You're done. Okay. Um, what we're going to do here is we're going to write the equation of the line. And the slope is negative 3, and, the, and it passes through the point negative 1, 7. So we're going to use point-slope form. So we're going to use this, and we're going to take these or this information and plug it in. So notice what I'll do is I'll keep the y and I'll keep the minus sign. I'll keep the equal sign and I'll keep the parentheses and I'll keep this x. So all I'm going to do is plug in my y value. So my y value is 7. That's my y value. So I'm going to put that right there. And my slope was negative 3. So I'm going to put that right there. All I need now is my x value. My x value is going to go right here. Now notice it is x minus. So watch what happens here. My x value is negative 1, so I put that right here. So this is something that did not come up in our examples, but be aware of this. y minus 7, so y is 7. Then we have this. Notice the way that it's going to be written is that we're going to write x plus 1. So, keep, change, change, x plus 1. That's how it's going to be written. So, if you get this in a question and they say, what's x? You're going to say, x is negative 1. So, um, that's, a, that's tricky, and I'll show you in a little bit what that looks like. So, be careful on that. If you see a plus, realize it's really minus a negative. All right. Uh, Next, it's we, we want to try to write the equation in point-slope form for a line that passes through these two points. So what we'll do is, first we have to find the slope. So let's do the slope formula to find the slope. I set up my slope formula, and I'm going to do negative 5 minus 3 is negative 8, and I'll do negative 1 minus 2 is negative 3. So the two negatives cancel, and my slope is 8 over 3. So next, it says plug in one of the points and the slope into the point-slope formula. Well, here's where on the answer key we'll have two different answers. Um, you get a choice here. You can pick this point or this point. So on this side I'll do 2, 3. On this side I'll do negative 1, 5. So let's see what that looks like. So on the left, my y value is 3. So I'll put the 3 right here and my x value is 2, I'll put it here, and my slope I already know is 8 thirds. If I chose this point, my y value is negative 5, so I'll put it right here, and my x value is negative 1, so I'll put it right there. The slope is the same, 8 over 3. Now, just like I said before, we're going to do keep change change, so y plus 5 equals 8 thirds times x plus 1. One last example. Given the graph below, write the equation of the line in point slope form. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the two points and find the slope. So you can either do slope formula or you can do 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six. So the slope I got was 3 over 6, which reduces to 1 half. Once we know the slope, once we know that that's the slope, all we have to do is pick one of the points and plug it in. Again, two answers are possible. You only have to pick one of the answers. So we can use this point, which is negative 3, negative 2. So this point is negative 3, negative 2. Or we could use this point, which is 3, 1. I will do both for you. Okay, please notice my two answers. I'm not done with this one, but here I took the negative 2 
and put it where y is and put the negative 3 where x is. And it, remember, if I simplify that, it's y plus 2 equals my slope 1 half multiplied to x plus 3. Keep change, change. Same thing here. 3 is x, 1 is y, and 1 half is my slope. So this, uh, a lot of these questions sometimes go pretty quickly. We have a few pages of practice problems. So if you need to, go back and watch the uh, examples and try all of these practice problems. I will show each slide so you can hit pause to see the questions bigger. Here are the, practice, the uh, next set of practice problems. And again, bring any questions you have to class next time we meet. Take care.